Welcome folks and welcome to another Let's Play. Today we are going to start a brand new Let's Play and a very special Let's Play also. This Let's Play is going to be special for at least two reasons. The first reason is that we are going to play this game with the German localization. But before you freak out and stop this video, let me assure you that this Let's Play is still going to be in English. That means that I am going to translate everything at least until I run inevitably out of steam. However, the reason why I have to play this game with the German localization is the second reason why this Let's Play is so special. For we are not going to play any game, but a very, very special game. A game that I hold very dear to my heart. A game that connects me with my childhood. So I absolutely have to play this game in the same way as I experienced it back then. As I announced, it is a point-and-click adventure game, but not just any adventure game, but the first adventure game and I think even the first game that I ever played. I got this game in the year 1994, back when it came out. This year was also the year when I got my first computer. This computer had a 386 processor. For those of you who are too young to know what that means, it means that it had a clock rate of unbelievable 16 megahertz. Yeah. And its operating system was Windows 3.1. It had no internet connection because back then only scientists and military personnel had access to the internet. In particular, back then you couldn't just download new software to your computer. If you wanted to get new software, you had to go into a shop and buy it. So there I was, stuck in the year 1994 with my seven pre-installed programs that came with Windows 3.1 and not much to do. And then I got this game as a Christmas gift and Boy, did I spend hours and hours playing this game. I didn't finish it back then. Not because it was very difficult, but some of the puzzles were extremely illogical. So I didn't finish it until much later, but it still was a unique experience. And it wasn't just a game that I play, that I play, but for me, it was really like an entry to another world, a world that seemed very much alive, as much alive as this one, at least to the kid that I was. So I have very, I have many fond memories of this game, and today I'm going to revisit this game and go on a journey back into my childhood, and I want you to come with me. So, without any further ado, let's start. <laughs> During the introduction cutscene I will not talk, but I will explain what it says. In jener Zeit konnten die Menschen endlich ihre Erdhöhlen verlassen. Sie hatten sich dort für Jahrhunderte vor der radioaktiven Strahlung versteckt, die durch die letzten Atomkriege entstanden war. Inmitten des Dschungels entdeckten sie die Butzuk, eine Mutantenrasse, die friedlich am Fuße eines Hügels lebten. Die Menschen besetzten mit Gewalt den Wohnort der Butzuk und erbauten dort die Stadt Blurxenbrtensenblicknaxel auf dem Hügel. Aber tatsächlich zlotet es ganz fürchterlich in Blurxenbrtensenblicknaxel. <lacht> Professor Azimut, können wir jetzt mit dem Teddybären spielen? Ja, you got to get to see the people who have worked on this game. 
It was developed by a French developer, apparently. Named by Cop Television. And this music goes on for a while, so I'll just skip skip it. Menschen's Kinder, meine Rübe! Seh schon lauter Sterne! Was ist nun mit mir los? Mir geht ein ganzer Leuchter auf. Was hab ich da für ein Wort im Kopf? Schnippel? Yeah, as to the story of this game, as was explained in the introduction cutscene, the story is very much like the story of Fallout. Namely, humanity has survived for centuries underground um, to protect itself from the radiative fallout, which was the result of nuclear wars. <laughs> And if you don't do anything, he does that. Okay, so let's just... Uh, no. Uh, humanity, um, yeah, survived underground. And so after centuries, they came out of their underground um, shelters and encountered a race called the Butzuk, which lived near a hill and of course what humans the humans did what they always do when they encounter a peaceful civilization namely they destroyed it basically and built a new city on the hill Brutzen Klaxensen Brutzen as they as name was I think and um, as you can see, uh, as you saw, um, our main character, Woodruff here, um, I think he is the son of this professor Azimut who was abducted. And the professor before he was abducted put some strange device on our head which caused accelerated growth so basically we're now the kid in the body of a teenager and we have to find out what happened what happened to the professor and who shot our teddy bear okay There's a boot that we can't reach. Yeah. Zita, ein Stiefel. Das passt prima. Schuhe kann ich gebrauchen. But we can't reach it at the moment. Uh, it says house with uh, signs of a fight. Okay, just end it. <coughs> Okay, there are no clues, so we have to find out what happened to the professor and what the schnivel is. There's a button. Maybe it will give us a clue. Woodruff. So it's apparently it's part of our teddy bear. And the controls are a bit muddy. Okay. There's a graffiti which says Woodsock go home. And there's a guy, maybe he saw something. Let's talk to the guy. Da Mann, wem gehört das Haus da hinter uns? Es gehört Professor Azimut, ein liebenswürdiger Mann, berühmt wegen Arbeiten über die Zeit. Aber irgendwas ist hier heute Nacht passiert. Und ich? Können Sie mir sagen, wer ich bin? Ich kenne Sie nicht. Ich habe sie hier noch nie gesehen. 
Yeah, he said that um, this house belongs to Professor Atzimut, who is apparently very famous, and a hint to uh, what as to why he might have been abducted. He is an expert on time. Kommen Sie näher, um besser zu sehen. Da haben Sie etwas. Oh. <laughs> and he pokes fun. Um, yeah, I've seen the boot, thank you. Na, Freund, haben Sie schon mal etwas vom Schnibbel gehört? Schnibbel? Natürlich, nur dank seiner können die glücklichsten Dinge geschehen. Professor Azimut hat ihn zu unser aller Glück entdeckt. And he just said that Professor Azimut, um, not invented, but he found the Schnibbel. Kommen Sie näher, um besser zu sehen, da haben Sie etwas. Oh. And he does that again. So. Was ist nur in diesem Haus passiert? Ich kann mich an nichts erinnern. Ich habe nichts gesehen, aber anscheinend weiß HP Sebastian Bescheid. And he gave us a hint that HP Sebastian might know what happened. Ist denn HP Sebastian? Ich habe diesen Namen noch nie gehört. HP Sebastian? Das ist so ein Intellektueller, der immer in Kneipen rumhängt. Der ist in der Bar der Schluchtspechte. <laughs> and she said that H.P. Sebastian is an intellectual, which is always to be found near bars. So we have told us to go to the bar of der Schluchtspechte. So. Da Mann, wem gehört das Haus da hinter uns? Okay, he's gehört Professor Azimut. He's repeating himself now. Ein lieblicher Mann, berühmt wegen Arbeiten über die Zeit. Aber yeah. irgendwas ist hier heute Nacht passiert. We have heard this already. So we have to find the bar of der Schluckspechte to find H.P. Sebastian. Uh, can... Okay, I think we are pretty much done here. There are two exits. Let's go to the street of the sad Butzuk. Uh, and there's an advertisement some, of some sort. Ich kann die Inschrift nicht entziffern, weil ich nicht lesen kann. But, alas. Poor Woodruff is not able to read as you because as you remember he's still a kid. But there's a stone with a suspicious ich kann die Inschrift nicht entziffern, weil ich nicht lesen kann. Yeah. He can't read. She still can't read, but there's a woman. And a sad bootsuk. Let's talk to the sad bootsuk first. Dein Gerüst, mein Freund! Kannst du mir sagen, was dich so traurig macht? Äh? Tja, in dieser Stadt werden wir Butzuk ausgebeutet und unterdrückt. He asked him why he looks so sad and he said that in this city the Butzuk are being treated um, very badly and are abused. Ich bin fremd in dieser Stadt. Erzähl mir, wie man hier lebt. Äh? Ganz mies. Das Essen ist ekelhaft und das Wasser kann man nicht mal trinken. Die Menschen, die uns regieren, erdrücken uns mit Abgaben und Steuern. Yeah, he said that the food is awful and the water undrinkable and the um, government puts heavy taxes on the people. Niemand protestiert? Ihr wehrt euch nicht? Äh? Unmöglich. Unser König wurde von den herrschenden Menschen völlig entmachtet. Er wartet darauf, dass der Schnippel kommt. Der sei unsere einzige Hoffnung. Okay, he said that the reason why the Butzuk um, do not rebel against this... The reason why the Butzuk do not rebel against um, their treatment is that their king has been... Um, robbed of his power, the king of the Butzuk, and they're waiting for the arrival of the Schnibbel. But 
Um, yeah, so that was the uh, first little peek into this game. And if I can find the menu, I may be able to save. Uh, oh, I can't save in when I'm talking to people. Okay. So we will find out maybe what happened to our to the professor and visit HP Sebastian in the next episode. So until then, folks, until then.